Hey guys and welcome back. I am sitting on my floor right now. The sun is setting. I have no makeup on. I threw on a lipstick just for this video. I am just kind of in a rush. I just wanted to sit down and share with you guys my updated reading list for spring and summer. I really didn't want to put on any makeup because it's like 8 p.m. right now and I just I need to film this video and I didn't want to put on makeup. So apologies for the state of my face and also for the sun in my face right now as well but hopefully this video will be a quick one i hope you guys enjoy it let me know what's on your reading list and let's just go ahead and get started all right so this is my pile of books right here oh my god the sun is so bad first thing on my reading list that i'm actually about a Two thirds of the way through is The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. It's obviously very different. It's the real story. It's very different from the Disney version, but I love the Disney version. I actually think Phoebus and Esmeralda are my favorite Disney couple of all time. So this is a bit of a shock. It's very, very different than the Disney version. I don't really like it as much as I thought I was gonna like it so far. And like I said, I've, I've got about a third of the book left to read. I don't know, I'm just not super into his writing style right now. The story is good, it's just very sad. And I don't know, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting into it. I'm reading it really fast, which is good. I'll definitely be finished it this month. It's April right now, so I will definitely be finished it before the end of the month, but I haven't just I just haven't been enjoying it as much as I thought. And another book that was on my reading list that I'm actually finished is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I'm reading this one for our book club. I just finished it. It's good. I did like it. I just don't like it as much as I thought. I think I was expecting more. It is a story of a girl named Kaya who lives alone. She lives a very lonely life. Um, she's isolated. She has no parents around and she just grows up by herself and it takes you through her entire life from childhood to I think she's like 24 at the end of the book. And then there's a bit of a murder, kind of not really a mystery, but there's a murder plot involved as well. And it is good, it's interesting, but I just didn't like it as much as I was hoping. I think I was expecting more from it. And then some new books on my reading list, Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. I've heard so many good things about this. Actually, a lot of you guys in my comments on my haul, book haul video said that you really like this one. So I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to read it. I've always been interested in this one and I finally got the book so looking forward to reading this. And then I also have One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kessie which I've also always wanted to read. I'm really excited to read this one as well. I feel like this is going to be good. I don't want to get my hopes up but I feel like it's going to be good and that I'm going to enjoy it. Something a little bit more of a classic, Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. I've been wanting to read this book for such a long time and I don't even think I've actually ever read a Thomas Hardy book before so I'm very excited. Also want to watch the movie. I think it's Richard Madden and I saw the trailer and I really want to see it. I don't know where I can watch it but I do want to watch the movie after I finish reading this book. I really am excited for this book. I can't wait. I might actually read it next month because I've been kind of waiting to read this one for a while. I'm really looking forward to it. This book has been on my reading list for a while, probably since fall. I've just never gotten around to reading it. It always ends up on the bottom of the pile, so maybe actually I should read it next month, maybe. I don't know, but it's The Heart is a Lonely Hunter by Carson McCullers. Like I said, I've talked about it in my like last three reading list videos because it always ends up at the bottom and I never get to it, but this spring and summer, I for sure need to read this one to check it off and put it away and not keep bringing it up in every single reading list video that I do. But I am interested in this one. I just don't know why it keeps ending up at the bottom of the list. I don't know. Some books just do that. Like Great Expectations was at the bottom of my list for months until I finally just did it and read it and I wasn't disappointed. So I don't know why I keep doing that with books. Then I have T.H. White's The Once and Future King, which I got for my birthday or did I get it for Christmas? I actually don't know. I think I got it for my birthday. I read it once like back in high school, but it's been a really long time. So I am looking forward to reading this one again. It is a bit of a bigger 
heftier novels. So I might actually save it for the summertime. It might be one of those months when I just read one book or it might take me two, two months to finish because it's so big, but we'll see. Probably in the summer I'm gonna get to this one. This is actually my brother-in-law's copy, but I'm borrowing it. It's Margaret Atwood's The Testaments. I have read The Handmaid's Tale, which I really liked, but it's been a while and I know The Testaments came out quite a while ago. I just haven't been able to read it. I think I want to read this one next month, actually. I've been really looking forward to this. I don't know if I need to reread The Handmaid's Tale first, though. I don't think I do. I think this is, like, different. Obviously the same time frame, like, it's connected to The Handmaid's Tale, but I think it has different characters in it. Two more books. I have Dr. Zhivago by Boris Pasternak, and I've seen this movie. I haven't read it, though, but I loved the movie. I loved the story. Again, this is a bit of a longer, bigger novel. I'm really excited to read this one though. I think I'm going to like it. By the way, in my book haul videos, I kind of go through the plots and like the synopsis of all of these. So you can always check out my book hauls down below. I'll leave my book playlist down below if you want to hear what all these books are about. In this video, I'm just kind of showing you guys what books. I'm planning on reading. Last but not least on my spring summer reading list is Twelfth Night by Shakespeare. I recently picked up a bunch of Shakespeare's plays and I want to read one of his plays like every quarter. So this is going to be my spring summer play. It's one of my, I think it's my favorite Shakespeare play from his comedies at least. I really, really like it. And that sums up this video. Those are all of the books that I'm going to be reading over the next four or so months. It'll probably be a while till my next reading list video because I have to get through all of these, check them off my list before I create a new reading list. That's the thing that I always do. I just always create more reading lists and updated reading lists and I just never finish the books that are on my original list. So I'm trying to stick to a plan here. Two books a month, get these books finished read and finished and then start a new reading list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one. <music>